Good afternoon, everyone, from Myrtle Beach in South Carolina, where we're going through a Ripley's Museum. I love the Ripley's Believe It or Not attractions. So we're going to show you what this one has to offer here. I go by the legend. That's my wonderful girlfriend, Molly. And that's a gorilla. And that's a gorilla made out of tires. Before you head in also, there's Robert Wadlow, the world's tallest man, who's not standing up. Some of the first things you get to in the museum are some iconic movie props. You got Indiana Jones Whip from The Last Crusade, and then the hoverboard from Back to the Future Part Two. More fun stuff. You got Marilyn Monroe, made out of a million dollars of shredded money. You got Lucille's Ball's hair. I like this. You've got Wally made out of scrap metal. He looks so good. Mm -hmm. And then I also like the Minions, made out of toilet paper. You got a painting of Tom Brady made with toothpaste, and one of The Rock made with cigar ash. More movie props over here. You got the engineering bridge from Star Trek. I dream of Genie the bottle, the jacket from The Crow. I love the uh, the photo op of the hoverboard in the Hill Valley here. Like that is, that's really neat. Oh, Molly's hopping on. That's not how you hoverboard. You don't hoverboard with one foot. There you go, that's how you hoverboard. Oh, and you got um the shoes from Back to the Future, part two, the self-lacing shoes. You've got a wax figure of Kamala, the Indian wolf girl, and then some Ripley's classic kind of stuff. Alligator head, genuine shrunken head, shark tooth weapon, and more. Next exhibit in the museum is about the legacy of King Tut's tomb, and it's um, dark. Got some sort of a hologram flame effect thing. He's got a white superhero, Robert Wadlow, the world's tallest man. A video where you can learn all about him. I particularly enjoy his jellyfish shirt. Yes, that's a very nice shirt. A simple interactive here where you can move around some gears. Oh god, I messed it up. And then turn them. Thanks, I can kind of a Ripley's Hall of Fame, more or less, with a uh, long neck woman from the Pudang tribe. We've got the vampire woman and the equally as terrifying lizard man. Spinning around here is the human unicorn, a gentleman by the name of Wang, who Robert Ridley saw in 1931. The next one is the Lighthouse Man, who um, gave guided tours the candle attached to his forehead. The last one spinning around is Four Eyes. And that's, that's why. The next exhibit is the Ripley's Attic, home to all sorts of wacky stuff, including the world's longest chewing gum wrapper chain. That's interesting. Yes, two thirds of a mile long. Look, got a lighthouse beat on a sawfish beat. Let us know. We are. You can actually see sawfish at the uh, the Ripley's Aquarium on the other side of town. More weirdness. Tibetan skull build. A map key. So, that's interesting. In case you got lost easily. Yeah. This is a cricket made out of recycled stuff. And then I love the Japanese ceremonial dragon sword. That's very, very neat. Classic side to take here the Fuji mermaid. Along with other stuff. Some stuff in here is just pure shenanigans, like this letter. It got took 34 years to get delivered. But they lived only 15 uh, miles away. Hanging out over here is John Arnold, who is a six-legged pig. And this one's all kinds of weird. It's a cow with two heads and legs on top. Fun collection here. All these sculptures are made out of chewing gum. Probably one of the prettier things in the museum. This is a Vietnamese root carved ship. 
very, very intricate. And it's right next to an elephant's foot humidor. Also odd. And there next to a two-headed lamb. The next section of the museum takes a look at torture devices. Here's one that's near and dear to my heart. This is a roller coaster made out of matchsticks. Don't forget about the Ferris wheel. Yeah, the Ferris wheel actually works. Yeah. Got some kind of wacky mosaics here. Van Gogh made out of jelly beans. And John Lennon made out of pennies. Next exhibit is uh, uh, dinosaurs. It has some fossilized stuff, a dinosaur bone, dinosaur footprint. It is dark, but that is an Allosaurus skull. Molly, I think this one's my favorite room yet. It's done up like a big cave. And you've got this awesome dinosaur made out of recy recycled car parts. More dinosaur stuff over here. And then this is fascinating. Much like Jurassic Park, these are insects trapped in amber. Not sure how well this is going to work on camera. But if you look down the hole, there's a general ancestor bed. All the way down there. Always love a spinning vortex tunnel. Very dizzy. This one, the floor moves, so it makes it even wilder. Have a giant light bright over here. And then you can play in the mirror to see if you can roll your tongue. I can't do it. I would say this is one of my favorite things I've seen in the museum. It's armor for a cat. Another fun photo op here. You've got some Avengers made out of all recycled stuff with Thor. An Iron Man whose blasters do work as lights. A little bit of a glare issue, but this is pretty cool. Over 5,000 keyboards. Over 5,000 keyboard keys were used to make this horse. Molly here is playing with the interactive sandbox. Look at this, Allie. Look. I'm making, uh, making the water. She's making the water. Grew like grew. Watch out for the crabs. <laughs> These are, it's a really fun interactive. <laughs> this one is fantastic. It's Star Wars character Greedo. They're gonna make his sculpture or his portrait made out of staples. More staple art over here. So I'm C3PO. And then more cigar ash art with Iron Man. And Thanos. Next to uh, a wacky car. All right, there it is, the jewel. Molly, grab the jewel. She couldn't grab the jewel. No. Cool display here with all animals made out of recycled parts. All right, and that'll do it for the Ripley's Museum. It's uh, okay, not one of the better ones, but still, it's interesting. There's always some some cool stuff and attractions like this. It is $25 to get into this one, so I'm not sure I can recommend it at that price point. But if you're going to like the aquarium, then you can handle them, the, the, believe it or not, for like $5, and then I think it's a pretty good deal. If you have any questions about Ripley's here in uh, Myrtle Beach, let me know in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.